Hi, Scott here from the Modeling Systems team. Today I want to talk, you, talk to you a bit about Fortran compiler options and ways that they can help optimize our code as well as spot any errors that we make and print out warnings about them. Um, so we've got two, two choices for what compiler we can use on Rygen. There's the GNU Fortran compiler, which is GFortran. And there's the Intel Fortran compiler, which is called iFort. Um, GNU GFortran is open source. Um, it's free software. Um, whereas the Intel compiler version is a rather expensive piece of software that's designed specifically for Intel chips like we have on Rygen. Mainly what we use for modeling code will be the Intel compilers just because they optimize things a bit better. If you want to have a look at what things that the compiler can do, there's always um, the double dash help option. Double dash help. And just go to less just so it doesn't all scroll past. And you can see here is the Intel Fortran compiler help. Um, it goes on to all of the different options you can use if you scroll down. So I'm going to be talking a bit about a small selection of this. As you can see, there's quite a lot of options you can use. There's also the um, compiler help website that you can find by going through the NCI um, program directory. So it has the help for each compiler version. So I'll just clear the screen here. So things I want to talk about is basic compiler options, optimization, and checking and debugging your code. So let's just create a Fortran program now, and we'll uh, show you a bit about it. So what we've got here is a very basic Fortran program. It's just a Hello World style thing. So to compile this, we'll go ifort fortran.f90. So that's run the compiler. And then if we look at what's in our directory now, we can see we've got this thing called a.out. So that's just the default name of any executable that the compiler creates. So if we go dot slash a.out to run it, you can see it's printing hello world. Um, if you don't want it to be called um, a dot out you have to specify what the what it should be actually called so we can call it hello if we go dash o hello and compile it there we go and dot slash hello hello world if you're compiling a lot of different source files it's you can compile them by listing them just all on the command line. So we can go ifort 1.f90 2.f90 and then dash o test. So something like that. Uh, another way you can do it is by compiling each file individually. So you can go ifort so only compile and don't link. So if we go back to our hello.f back to our fortran.f90 file. So if we just compile that with the dash c file, let's see what happens. So now we've got a fortran.o file. Uh, this is a separately compiled program, a separate, separately compiled object file, rather. So what we do with these is we link them together to create a full program. So this is only a small part of a program, and when we want to make a full program, I fought, then we just list all of the .o files, fortran .o -o hello. So that's doing in two steps what we did in one step before. The reason you'd want to separate them out is if you've got a lot of different um, .f90 files or .f, a lot of different Fortran source files, and you don't you want to compile them individually so you can make a change in one and don't have to recompile everything. So if it's taking a long time, this will speed things up because you're only compiling just what you need. 